Hi, it's Max Fokers with the Max Fokers Real Estate Team here in San Diego. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to be competitive in a multiple offer situation. Uh, before I do, however, I'd just like to remind you uh, there's two links off to the right side of your screen. If you're looking to buy a home this year, you can click that link and get access to all the homes currently on the market here in San Diego. Or if you're thinking about selling your home, you can click that and get a valuation on your home. Talking about a multiple offer situation, there's five things that I want to pass along that are going to give you your best shot at getting your offer accepted. Currently inventory is still tight and so we are seeing a lot of multiple offer situations, particularly in the more desirable locations. First, you're going to want to make sure you've got a strong financial package put together. You can't wait to work on your pre-approval until you've seen that dream home. You've got to have that ready to go in advance. You want to have a strong lender who's willing to go to bat for you and place a call to the listing agent telling them how great you are. You want to have your proof of funds for your down payment ready, you know, in form of a, a stock or a bank statement to submit immediately with your offer. You want to present an irresistible offer. You're going to know what you want in terms of close of escrow, purchase price, etc. But you really want to take into account the seller's needs. And that's where a great agent's going to come into place. You want, you want to find out if a short escrow is more important or, or maybe they need some additional time and a longer escrow is actually more beneficial. You want to go the extra mile to make it personal. Um, if, you're, if they're receiving a bunch of offers, you want to do something to distinguish yourself. If you have the opportunity to meet the sellers or the neighbors, all the better. Introduce yourself, be friendly. You want them rooting for you as well. If you don't have an opportunity to actually meet the neighbors or the sellers themselves, then put together a little bio about what's so great about the house that you're looking at purchasing, why it's going to be the perfect place for you and your family, and, and a little bit about your background. You want to be fast, push your limits, and don't have any regrets. You want to get your offer in as quickly as possible, make as strong as an offer as you're comfortable making, but then realize that if you didn't get the property, you went as high as you were willing to go and somebody was just willing to pay more. And if you do get the property, you're not going to have buyer's remorse. Again, that goes back to being prepared financially. Finally, you really want to have a great agent, not only to advise you on all of these different details, but they need to be proactive in reaching out to the listing agent and building that relationship as well. So those are the five tips I've got for you to get your offer accepted in a multiple offer situation. Again, thanks for visiting our video blog. And if we can be of any assistance this year, please uh, reach out to us either via phone, email, or text. Thanks so much and have a great day.